So day six's prompt is shade. Now I could use this to do some joke about throwing shade. I mean, Lord knows I've done that before. But in this particular case, what I want to focus on is um, games that have a more darker approach. Now, the idea of dark or even grim dark is something that's not uncommon. In fact, it's fairly frequent. But I don't want to say that it's misunderstood. I think a better term would be disunderstood. Like a lot of people, there seems to be this idea that having a high lethality is subs is all that's really needed when it comes to making a game with a um, darker setting. That's not really the case because you can definitely have a more high-powered game while still having that degree of darkness. After all, there's been plenty of really overpowered builds and the like when it comes to the, when it comes to games like Dark Souls. To me, what I think is important is the atmosphere itself. In film, horror always comes from atmosphere more than it does with scares, and I think the same thing can apply with games. You are going to be in a place where, by all reason and logic, you shouldn't be. And I think that's something that should be emphasized, more than how horrific the creatures are. Now... Some games obviously do this some um, proper, but I do think that putting in something like a sanity or strain or what or what have you kind of meter, I'm not entirely sure that's the right move to make because that's going to feel like a bandage, and in some cases it's going to feel like a counting down instance. Looking at you, Call of Cthulhu. For me, it comes in how the um, GM describes things. I think that's the reason why. One of my fa one of my favorite um, darker RPGs that's come out in the last few years has been the likes of the Genesis. Now, granted, everybody knows forests in Eastern Europe are a bit of a death trap, so you've already got some backing there. But the fact that a lot of the fact that the creatures, i.e., the Homo de Genesis, are shown very rarely, and in a lot of adventures that I've seen them, you may only see one of them, but there's lots and lots and lots of build-up when it comes to that, especially when it comes to how easily it can shift a, a person from going from Homo sapiens to Homo degenesis. Now, of course, it's not the only instance of this kind of thing, but I want to use that to illustrate the point that it's more about the internal fear rather than some sort of external spook. And granted, having a lot of dark shading can definitely help can definitely help with the uh, visual end of things. But there should always be this kind of fear, not fear of the unknown necessarily, or at least not limited to that, but fear of what might happen. After all, in something like the Genesis, um it's easy for the worst case scenario to happen in that. In something like, say, Simbaurum, well, the forest itself is going to be da is going to be dangerous as enough as it is. And I don't want to limit this to just RPGs that come out of Eastern Europe, even though I do think they have a decent foothold in this. But it's more of the fact that you are going to be in some sort of place that, by all logic, you shouldn't be in. You should be back in the village getting yourself drunk or something. But you've got to be out here for one reason or another. And saying that you're just adventurers is not enough. Like when people go out into the forest or people go out into uncharted territory, there's always a reason why they do it. I suppose I could bring up Torchbearer as well, but that's a different can of worms. At the end of the day, though, it's all about presenting that feel of unease. It's the same kind of unease that we get watching a horror film. And that's why you don't necessarily need to make it scary, but you do need to make it unnerving, in my opinion. Granted, that's a lot harder if you've got a table full of riffers like I do, but it's not impossible to do. <laughs> 